Okay, everyone. We are group one. My name is Gan Yong Shun. My chain number is two five four one three two. I'm the group leader and also become a representative, the MC for this video presentation. Okay, today I will share about the human factor leading to road traffic accidents among UM students. Before I start this video presentation, did you guys know what is the human factor? Okay, there are three types of human factor, which is distraction, tiredness, disregard for root rules. For distraction, is like some of the UN students, they like to hold phone conversation or chat with their friends, so it will be cause the road traffic accident happen. After that is the tiredness. We as a student, UN student, we all we all know right, we like to outing or bonding, like to go to the uh Ganga McDonald's to eat after the class or events. So they will cause the uh, happen the road traffic accident. Why? Because when go outside after the class or event we feel it's very tired. The driver is very tired. So when we drive we lose the concentration or feeling tiredness or ice big fatigues and so on. So it will happen a road traffic accidents. After that is the disregard for road roads. It's like some of the UN students they access high speeds or they running out of the red light or taking the alcohol or suddenly breaking and also has someone is improper to change the line, the lens without the scenery. From the one way I know one we can know that there is a significant relationship between the distraction, tiredness and disregard for road rules when the road traffic accident among the UN student. From the regression analysis we can know that tiredness is the highest beta coefficient which is 0 0.358 means that tiredness stronger to lead the road traffic accident among the UN student. So now I will share a short video about the tiredness caused the road traffic accident and how to pre prevent it happens. Driver tiredness and fatigue is a killer on our roads. Too many rollover crashes and head-on collisions are caused by drivers falling asleep behind the wheel. Signs of driver tiredness include struggling to keep the eyes open, yawning frequently, and slow reaction times. A tired driver may also wander across the centre line and drift across other lanes over road markings or follow other vehicles too closely and have trouble remembering the last few kilometres. Stop and rest before it is too late. There is no quick fix or miracle remedy. Our bodies simply need to rest. Most adults need a minimum of six hours of sleep per night. When we don't get enough sleep, our brain cells do not communicate effectively, which in turn affects our visual perception, physical reflexes and memory. For your own safety, always start your journey refreshed and well rested. To remain alert and focused behind the steering wheel, plan your journey and your rest stops. After two hours behind the steering wheel, or every 200 kilometers, find a safe spot and take a break from driving. Stop, refresh your body and mind before continuing your journey. From the short video, we know that UN students must have enough sleep or rest before their driving. So we want to prevent the accident happen again, like in 2019, at around 4.20 a.m. in that times have five student accidents and two of them pass away. And one of the students pass away is my friend. So I know the feeling. I want to to make sure my junior or my friend in UUM can avoid to happen this again. So now this video is to awareness the UN student to ensure you are feeling enough sleep and also good rest before driving thank you